This may look like a nap, but there's something going on in your baby's brain that is probably as critical to your baby's development and general health as good nutrition. Sleep is vital to your baby. We do not have much information about what exactly happens during sleep in babies' brains, but we know that during sleep they solidify information and process memories that have been made during the day. If your baby is getting less than 10 to 12 hours sleep, the development may be adversely affected. Studies suggest that in babies and young children, insufficient sleep leads to ineffective attention, learning difficulties, behavioural problems and poor general well-being. So there are two cycles, rapid eye movement sleep cycles and then non-rapid eye movement sleep. Babies spend most of their time in rapid eye movement sleep. So that's a lighter form of sleep where one often still sees quite a lot of movement and um, eyes move but one often actually can't see that because the eyes are closed. Then the next phase is non-rapid eye movement sleep. This consists of four phases. The last two of those are very deep sleep phases where the baby will lie very quietly and sleeps very deeply. Babies often change from, or from deep sleep into rapid sleep and then they may wake up and that's when one hopes that they will be able to self-soothe and go back to sleep again. A baby sleeping through the whole night is actually an exception to the rule. And as parents of a newborn baby, you just have to expect that you will get up a number of times during the night, at least until they're about six months old. Then between six months to a year, one, one usually sort of expects an improved sleeping pattern, but it varies considerably. So it's best to try and get babies to learn to sleep on their own, in their bed and not in somebody's arms and not while they're being fed. So they should actually be awake when one puts them down um, so that they learn to fall asleep on their own. So when they wake up late at night, they don't have an expectation that they need to be picked up and fed to be able to go back to sleep. If you're concerned about your baby's sleep patterns, I think it is important to discuss it with your pediatrician because there are many things that should be looked at. The baby's overall health, feeding patterns, the sleeping patterns, how much time the baby actually also sleeps during the day, all these need to be considered and one also needs to look and make sure that there are no medical problems.